Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're kicking off the start to a new series that we're doing, and we're gonna be covering all sorts of A plus content. So I've been recently A plus certified. I passed, I passed the two exams for the latest A plus certification from CompTIA. And we wanted to start a series to help some of you guys who may be wanting to get A plus certified. And to kick off this series, we're gonna be walking you through PBQs or performance-based questions. Now, before we get started with that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so today we're taking a look at a PBQ that is essentially testing your knowledge of CompTIA's protocols or standards for of how you would treat an issue in the real world. So this is actually a rather simple uh, question to get started with. And as you learn the A plus material, you'll see this over and over again. So CompTIA has like a system that you wanna follow. So here our prompt is drag the steps of the troubleshooting model into the correct order. So before we know anything going into a problem, again, we're thinking about this as if it was in the real world and we're an IT technician helping somebody troubleshoot something on a computer. The very first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to identify the problem. In most cases, you'll be reading through an email or taking a phone call, and you just wanna identify what the problem is. So an example could be, my computer is really slow and there's no apparent reason for my computer being really slow. That is the problem. Now the next step in CompTIA's protocol here is to establish a theory of probable cause. So what's the most likely thing that could be causing my computer to be slow for no reason? Maybe we think that it is some sort of malware. The next step in this little flow chart here is we're gonna to wanna to test that theory. So in the case of malware, we could run scans using the Windows command prompt and the virus and threat protection that comes native with Windows. And during this phase, we're just gonna to wanna to verify whether our theory is correct. Now, assuming the theory is correct, we want to establish a plan to resolve the problem. So in the case of malware, we can run scans with command prompt and we can repair corrupt files or we can delete suspicious applications. We just wanna get that plan established. And then the next step after that is implement solution or escalate. So CompTIA here wants us to prevent, you know, said situation from happening again in the future. So that's where we implement the solution or if we can't, we might escalate to another team member. The next step in our flow here is to verify full system functionality. So we'll just be double checking to make sure that whatever problem we had in the first place is gone and that we have protective measures in place to prevent it from happening again. And then this last one here, we might see a lot. I remember seeing it a lot um, when studying the A-plus material. CompTIA really wants you to document the actions, findings, and outcomes. They want it all documented, so that's the last step. And here we're gonna check our score, and we got seven out of seven correct. So we started you guys off with an easy one. In this new A-plus series, we're gonna start with more performance-based questions. And at some point, we'll probably move on to covering other material related to A-plus as well. If you guys have any questions, drop those in the comments section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, be sure to check those links in the description if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.